Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with honor, love, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you learn to have a perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 561, NASDAQ up 168, SP's up 62, gold contract down $28.90, trading at 1749 an ounce. We got silver down 28 cents, twenty-two dollars sixty-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up ninety-seven cents, seventy-three dollars twenty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down nineteen ticks, trading one thirty-two twelve. Thirty-year for full point plus twenty ticks at one sixty-two oh five. And king dollar, king dollar is down four hundred thirty-two ticks, trading at ninety-three oh three one. We have huge divergence here, folks, in the dollar and the gold, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, I can tell you, and I'll tell you why. Uh, well, it, why is because the euro is topside in a big way. The pound is topside in a big way. They don't look to me like they're going to come back. That is saying the dollar is going to keep going lower. That is also saying that gold's going to go higher and you're going to get rejection of price. You're not going to get gold uh, as, as well as the dollar on a continual down. Well, one of them's going to be down and one of them's going to be up if, in fact, you get, you get the opposite effect. That's the real bottom line. You notice at 117, yen's at 110.25, and the British pound's at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number's 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this close is really going to be important uh, because what you have here is this. You know, we get a nice bounce going. You get a contraction of volume going. What is happening is that the market's holding price. So if you hold price here, you're going to be up again tomorrow too. You don't hold price, this is going to be the end of the B2C of a very large potential ABC structure on the way down. And it's a classic too, uh, there's no doubt, you know, because you, you came down here with, what, 166 million. Um, you know, yesterday we had uh, 103 million, today you get 53. What ends up happening is that, you know, we'll end up with 63 or something. That's what you normally see. You normally see that contraction happen. You're going into 118. That's crucial to understand. So we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close. You get the uh, some of the uh, that that's on the spy. NDX 100 is the same type of setup. NDX 100 is a little bit um, uh, weaker than the spy, even though we we have it up. I mean, it's up 378, up nice three. 373.35. We're at the the top. The get the gap is 372. So you're already into that gap. A real bottom line is that where is it going to uh, close out when we're coming into this close here. Now, if we take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see inside the NQs right now, come on, baby, there we go. Inside the NQs right now, you know, you, you hit a high out here of uh, 347, 15,347. You're, you're still, you're off it by 30 points, but 30 points inside the Qs are nothing. But let me get this up. Come on, baby, here we go. Okay, so we pull this. I see what happens. I'm so used to this thing that way. What I'm trying to do is get it closer to me, closer in time. Okay, where am I pulling this in? Why is it not doing it? Uh, bottom line. Interesting. Okay, so we are right now. You're below. This is this is wild. Okay, so the way the Q, the, the NQs are actually trading, folks. Okay is that we can actually get back down to this low that was established out here this morning at that uh, 265. Let me make sure that's right now. Sorry, just 265. Yeah, 265. You're at 315. So that's uh, not, that, not that many more points lower, but that's how this thing looks. And if that's what you get, the bottom line is that what you're going to get there is that you have the potential ABC structure in place. Gold. Gold contract out here. You talk about divergence. This is real divergence, too, which is really cool, man. I love that. Okay, divergence like this is really cool. And what I mean by that, folks, is this, is that when I, when I bring up the pound and when I bring up the uh, euro, you're going to see just the power of that. And what we have here, and I, I actually w was going through this yesterday, um, 
meaning on another equity. So pitches, the first time that we came down in the gold contract, we came down with 290,000 contracts. That was established out here on the 9th of August. Then we came down last week with 250,000 contracts. You had 206,000 now. That's what you like to see. What I also want to see now, though, is a rejection of lower price. You know, we haven't got the rejection of lower price yet. You're, you're right down at that level. Bottom line is that I suspect we're going to get it. Notes and bonds. We want to get in that note and bond market, man, because what you have out here is that you have the 10-year right. I think it actually broke through the uh, bottom of this consolidation. Let's see what it looks like here. No, T-Y. Okay, so you're down 19 ticks. I don't think that's enough to get through it, actually. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So you have 1.8 million contracts. You broke through the bottom of it. And that sets up, right now we're 132.12. That sets up a 131.29. Uh, that's where we had strength going, going back to the uh, 7th of July. Let's go take a look at the TLT. TLT, this is a 20-year plus. This baby is back three dollars. You're at one forty-eight. You're coming into nineteen million to down sixteen. Okay, this is going to be a little more volume to basically get cracked. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. This also has not rejected lower price. King dollar. You're going to see with King dollar out here. Bottom line, that came back fast and furious. Took back everything that was up yesterday. And what you're going to see here, we'll, we'll put up the euro as well as the pound. The pound is the one that stopped moving first this morning, folks. You can see the euro came off the lows of 116.84. You're at 117.47. If we take a look at the pound, you're going to see the, the pound is the one that really moved first, and then the euro moved. The pound went from 136.12, 131. And what you actually do have is that now you have three higher lows, okay? Real close, but the bottom line is that we do have three higher lows inside of the marketplace. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is uh, up 534, NASDAQ 163. S&P's up 58. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.